Josh Stern has got a new album out. It's called This Country Music Thing, which, by the way, is a uh, – good morning, Josh. Good morning. Uh, is a uh, – that song is so great. I love when you guys do – like artists, you, you guys. When you guys do stuff that kind of like takes – it's like the third wall comes down or the fourth wall. Some wall comes down. And <laughs> and you kind of go like, yeah, I'm a singer. People like the way I sing and I'm on the road. And it just kind of gives you an idea of like, I don't know, your life. I really liked it. <laughs> well, you can you can thank my producer for that one because uh, that was one of a whole lot of songs that I sent him, and I I never know what anybody's gonna like, and that was the first thing on his list, and I'm like, are you feeling okay? Because that I, like it just does, it's not in the vein of what I normally do, and I just felt like it was kind of braggadocious and, it is, I, I, but that's I, yeah, what he loved about it yeah, he was I, like you know this is kind of like a rap song it's like it hey, is, you know look at what i've done you know it's you popping your collar yeah or whatever the kids so, do nowadays <laughs> popping your but, collar but it's funny it's like it's it's true though like all the young people that have heard it like they love that song well yeah. i'm gonna play a little clip it's, of a, little, it's, like a, it's like a flex it's going like yeah, yeah. It is you a are, it's bringing the riz that's the way you are because josh you're very i just want to jesus and country music and my kids and my my wife that's you and yeah. that's great. But every once in a while, we like to see you come out with face paint and a boa <laughs> and uh, jumping Woo! off the top. Yes! That <laughs> no, sounds pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Josh, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, Josh Turner, the new album is called This Country Music Thing. We'll talk more with Josh coming up. Josh Turner, the new album is out. It's called uh, This Country Music Thing. Uh, uh, two Step to the Moon. This is a... Uh, On the Moon. Uh, what did I say? To, to, on the moon? To the moon. To the moon? Oh, uh, <laughs> you know what it is? That, still, takes, that still... takes another level of talent. If you took, <laughs> well, Big D's still moon. stuck on Dogecoin. <laughs> He's like, to the moon! <laughs> to step it on the moon. There you go. Thank you. Sorry, you sorry. Uh, this is a, a, a song that's got a lot of firepower, especially in the in the video, and, and you get to see all your friends. Tell us about some of these oh, man. characters. The cameos. Uh, <laughs> this, this, uh, this video is off the chart. I mean, it's... Uh, it's the coolest video I've probably ever done. And the song itself is one of those songs um, that I didn't know if it was going to work at first or not because the, the demo that I heard was just so not what I do. And But I, I just felt like there was something to it. And so we just we kept living with it, kept messing with it, and, and finally kind of figured out how to do it and, and make it sound right. And then when we're in the studio, I start you know brainstorming with my manager about – video ideas or whatever and like she just falls in love with it and so we just kept that conversation going uh -huh. and so we started talking to Peter Zavadil uh about it and and he was all crazy about it because he's a super you know space nerd and love mm -hmm. NASA and all that kind of stuff and so it just we just started collaborating and started kind of bringing my ideas to life and and uh so yeah it, it's like it's like the the country music honky-tonk world meets the moon and the space age and fut futuristic kind of thing. And then of course, uh, you know, I had, uh, some of my peers that have had, you know, hits with moon songs. I had Randy Travis in there, John Anderson, Marty Rabin from Shenandoah I had the Gatlin brothers. And, uh, did you guys, did you guys literally just sit down and go, okay, who did a song about the moon? Yeah. I mean, that was pretty much, you know, and, and like we had some artists that couldn't make it, but, uh, Frank but, Sinatra was not yeah. available. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, it, it it turned out to be pretty incredible. Uh, <clears throat> it's called Two Stepping on the Moon." It's new stuff. Here it is with Josh Turner. Josh Turner, the new stuff called Two Stepping on the Moon." Uh, it's from the new album, which is called "This Country Music Thing." And I haven't seen the video yet. Now that you guys talked about it before we played the song, I need to go and sit down and watch it. So it's like. All the famous people that had moon songs and then other stuff mixed in as well. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty wild. It's it's kind of like the country version of uh, w whatever the place that was that Jabba the Hutt was hanging out in. Oh, in yeah, <laughs> Jabba's palace. <laughs> well, where was that? Star Bubba? Wars. Let's go to our, our fellow Star Wars narrative. Jabba's Bubba. palace. It's just called his palace. So yeah, yeah that's right. That's what I said. Is there a sarlacc pit? <laughs> we have yes. no idea. You're welcome. You. You're, welcome. You. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'll stay quiet. Now. And I still don't get how Boba Fett survived. I'm just, you know, I saw how they explained it. <laughs> she moved away from me. Josh moved away from Carson. Watch your mouth. Yeah, she's, uh, <laughs> she's all of that. Uh, Josh Turner, the new album is called This uh, Country Music Thing. We'll uh, talk more with Josh coming up. Hang on. <laughs>
Josh Sterner is uh, in the studio with us. Uh, the album is uh, the new one's called This Country Music Thing, and Two Stepping on the Moon is is on there. Check that out uh, and the video too. So uh, I know that uh, Jennifer, your wife, Jennifer does uh, vo- background vocals and keys, k- keyboard. Yeah, she does. Yeah, yeah. Um, and kids, the, the the boys play and they sing and all that kind mm-hmm. of stuff. Are you? Are, is, do you see this like becoming uh, the old Von? Von Turner, the Von Turner family. The (laughs) The sound of Turner. (laughs) They're they're on a hiatus right now, but uh, but it's cool because there's actually one song on this record called "Pretty Please" that uh, Jennifer actually came in and sang on, um, and I had nothing to do with that. My producer, that was his idea, and she was. I think she was more flattered by the fact that he had asked her instead of me um yeah so. well, i see you guys there's a couple that like sings in the kitchen and like dances it's very hallmarky but i don't maybe not no not really oh wow <laughs> you just ruined the illusion shattered wow. strictly a professional relationship <laughs> also going through the album uh the very end of the album is unsung hero mm, and that yes. is fantastic and i love the way the story is woven because you know you talk about these guys like any medal of honor recipient that we've ever had on the show all says the same thing they're like i don't deserve it they all feel like they didn't deserve that medal and oftentimes they put it in a closet or they put it in a box or they do whatever and you address all that in the song and i think it's so cool because every single one of our military men and women who have served uh this great nation feels like they don't recognize or need the recognition sometimes they're like man i was just doing my job and I love that song, yeah, and yeah. I just I think everybody should go and check that out as well. When you're listening to the album, don't skip out on Unsung Hero at the end because it's good. Well, I, I, I'm getting chills just by you talking about it because it's actually the, only the second song of my whole career that I ever got emotional over in the studio because uh, it's such a moving tribute to my granddaddy that I wrote by myself, and, and it's it's basically the story about how I learned more about him and his life and his military, you know, time um, after he died than he when he was living because he just he yeah. never he never talked about it. Yeah, yeah, and they don't they don't. And, and he's an American hero, and I, and I just felt like, you know, there's a lot of people out there that could relate to that because they probably know somebody just like it. Yeah, but, uh, for sure. But yeah, let's play it. Uh, it's uh, called Unsung Hero. It's on the new album uh, from Josh Turner. It's called This Country Music Thing. Uh, this is un. Sung hero. Oh, wow. Unsung hero, uh, Josh Turner. And so it got pretty emotional in the studio doing this. Yeah, because I, when I sang the scratch vocal, I, it was literally like one pass, and, and Kenny was like, I think you're good. And so they, <laughs> I went into the control room and just listened to them kind of, you know, play some parts over. And, and I'm just sitting there just kind of looking out the window, just thinking, like, man, I wish you could hear this, you know. Yeah. And he can. I believe and he can. Yeah, I, I do too, but I just I wish I could see him hearing it, you know. Sure, um, sure. And it just, uh, like I say, it, that was one of the last songs we added to the record. I didn't start the record-making process with, hey, I got to have this on here. Um, it just kind of happened naturally. But, but yeah, I mean, I, I've just grown to respect him and admire him even more the more I learn about him yeah. and uh, the things that he went through and the things that, you know, the dangerous situations that he was in. I mean, he was a Purple Heart recipient. He got uh, hit by enemy aircraft in Hamburg, Germany, one night when he was driving the ambulance. That he was, he was, he was part of a medical battalion that followed a, a tank battalion, um, the Black Cats, through uh, France and Germany and all of that. And it's just like I can't even imagine what he Straight experienced. Up band of brothers stuff. Yeah, it's uh, incredible. Wow! Wow! Uh, Josh Turner, the new album. It's called This Country Music Thing. Check it out. And There's uh, literally something for, for everybody everyone. on here. Such a it's good so album. good. It's so good. It is a Josh Turner album. Yes. You know, a lot of people a lot of people change their styles and do this and that. You're maybe one of the few people that I know of that has stayed absolutely true to being who you are musically, sonically, everything. I mean it. it It just sounds good. It's a Josh Turner record. If you have ever loved a Josh Turner song before in your life, check this out because there's a ton of new ones you're going to fall in love with. And you're right. There's a little bit of something on for everybody on here. There's, you know, I sing about the moon, the Grand Ole Opry, (laughs) Ferris wheels, military, uh, geography. Got it all. Yeah, it's just it romance. All. I mean, it's just a little bit of everything. Can't, can't, so, can't yeah. beat it. It's called this country, <laughs> this country music thing from Josh Turner. Thank you, Josh.
Well, because over the years, uh, teenage kids have told you to like and subscribe, we don't have to say that anymore. You know what to do.